What is your full name? Mary Elizabeth Cannon. <laughs> what is your date and place of birth? 102848 Floyd County. Okay, how many children do you have? Four and two adopted. Where have you lived the majority of your life? Georgia. Gordon County. Have you served in the military? No. Okay, what about Grandpa? What branch did My you My husband did. He was in the Navy. What did he do in the Navy? He worked on the airplanes. Do you know, like, what rank he was? No, I don't remember. <laughs> what is your religious affiliation? Baptist. Okay, what, and what kind of advice would you give to this generation? Listen to your parents and stay close to your family. This is going to be, this whole question right here is going to be related to birth to adolescence. To what? To adolescence. So if you remember anything, okay. When you were growing up, what was the role of boys and girls in the family? Like what kind of, what did, what did y'all do like chores wise? The girls did housework. And what did the boys do? We did ironing. We did cooking. We did cleaning. <laughs> At a very early age, too. How old were you? I mean, we did. I mean, we washed dishes and we did ironing. I was 10 and 12 years old and I did everybody's ironing in the house. Even my daddy's. Okay, what did... Boys did the outside work. How are they different from today's expectations? <laughs> Kids are spoiled. <laughs> they they don't know what chores are anymore. That's true. Okay. What music, clothing, and food were popular during your teenage years? How much did candy, movies, clothing, all that cost? So what like what kind of music was popular back in? <laughs> Who's your favorite? band or person that you listen to? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Elvis, I guess. Elvis. Is Elvis. Yeah. Anybody else? No band? The Did you ever go to an Elvis concert? No. Never had that opportunity. Oh, well. What about clothing? What was in? What was in? Oh my goodness. Was it little checkered <laughs> dresses? No, I mean. With white stockings? Or? As a teenager? As a teenager. As a teenager? Mm -hmm. Skirts and bobby socks. What's bobby socks? If you say that, everybody will know that with the little socks that go up to right about here. You know, everybody had bobby socks. Okay. What about food? What kind of food is good back then? Like, what'd y'all go to to eat? We, like teenagers. As teenagers? Yeah. Where'd y'all go to hang out or something? We didn't. Maybe to a friend's house. But as far as a hangout, we didn't have any. So what kind of food y'all eat at home? No. Your home cooked Corn. meals. Cornbread. Home cooked <laughs> meals, you know. And the majority of the food was grown, you know. You had gardens. What was socially accepted in your community? Religious beliefs, racial differences, women's rights, smoking and dancing. So, like, did people smoke and, like, no one cared? And... 
No. No one really. Smoked. I didn't know very many people that. Well, my daddy smoked, but. No kids, really. No. What about dancing. Like was that like was. Did, yeah, we danced. Did you like your parents? Did they like want you to? Cause I know. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. So they didn't. Dancing have a was a big thing. Okay. What about? Religious beliefs, like what was like, was it like mostly Christianity or different like mixtures and squires of everything? Not to my knowledge. We grew up Baptist, went to church. That was big in the community. Okay. What about racial differences? Like, was it really like was it separated kind of, even though it was. It wasn't like, I think in the, in the 1960s, Martin Luther King had already... We didn't have, um, we didn't have blacks in the community. Um, did you ever hear about like different things happening though? Like about blacks and stuff like that? No. Yeah, I'm, not to my knowledge. Not while we were growing up, I didn't. Okay. What did one do for amusement back then? Consider different forms of entertainment. Hobbies, sports, collections. What kind of, like, what was sports was fairly big back then? Movies. Movies, hobbies. Movie, m mostly movies. Bowling. That's all I can remember. Well, you didn't go to football games or anything like that? To what? Football games? No. Okay. Collections. I don't know what that would be. I didn't have things. <laughs> what were the rules of your house and did you rebel any? Like were they really strict on you and didn't let you go out and party or anything like that with your friends or hang out? Or like was it like just basic be home at this time kind of thing? Oh yeah, we had a curfew. Um, we could spend the night with a friend. We could have a friend spend the night with us. And that was basically it. Did you ever, like, sneak out any? No. You no never. 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 No. No, we did, we did not do that, no. Did you think about it? Did, like, people want you to? Sometimes? No. Mm. No. Mm. No. Mm. All right. Jobs and professions. What jobs did you have throughout your life? Didn't you say you started off ironing people's clothing? Or was that really not really a job because you weren't getting paid for it? It was a job and I did get paid for it. Okay. And babysitting. That's while I was a teenager. What did you do after that? Like what was the first like job job? Daycare. Around like around here? Uh, no, it was in, uh, um, that was in Powder Springs, Georgia. No, uh, it was in daycare. How old, how old are you then? Sixteen. Hmm. Okay, what did your jobs entail and did you enjoy your work? It entailed of taking care of kids. Small children. Yeah, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. What about like later on when you started working like in the restaurant business and stuff like that? What was your first, like, did you start working at the smokehouse? No. I was always in a factory sewing machine operator. A sewing machine operator? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Where we made clothes. Whose clothes did you make? Did what? Whose clothes did you make? It was a factory. What? I mean, like, what brand? I saw shirts. Yeah. Isod. Yeah. And y'all just sewed them? Yeah. I saw shirts. They didn't have machines for it back then? Well, yeah, it was a factory. It was machines. Sewing machines. But you operated them? So. Yeah, I was a machine operator. Okay. And then after that, you went into, like, the restaurant business? God, you know, I was a machine operator for years. Mm -hmm. Like still with the grandpa? The last, um, probably 
probably the last 10, 15 years, it was restaurant work. Restaurant. Okay. And now I'm retired. <laughs> okay, these are going to be general questions. It says, specify the time periods and the approximate age of your grandparents. What presidents or national leaders do you remember growing up? Presidents? You had to hear about some kind of presidents when you were growing up. Well, yeah. Like who? But Kennedy, I guess, had the biggest impression on me. Robert or JFK? John. JFK. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And I can remember sitting in history class when they announced that he had been shot. What was it like? Everybody, it was people crying? It was total silence. You know, that was really devastating. And that I remember, I guess, of all the presidents. Did you like, did you like him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. A lot of people liked him. Yeah. That's awful. How, like, how old were you when you, when he got shot? Like, what grade? I'd say 15, 14 or 15. What, what were some important? What are some? What were some of the important news? Do you remember like any of the, any of the event events happening, or like was there threats made ever like to the U.S. or did you ever hear about like nuclear warfare or Cuba? No, not that I can remember. You know. So like, y'all really didn't have like. Did you ever hear any terrorists or anything like that? No, not like we do now. All right, and how did you like receive news? Was it on the television, radio? Television. Was it black and white? I know.